Welcome back to Wittenberg Academy's first year Latin course. We are ready for first year Latin. Chapter 16 on page 29. First declension continued. Uh, vocabulary, kistula, kistula, a small box or a basket. Discated X, he departs from, he leaves. Discated X. When it, he comes. When it, he comes. Wain it, he came. Wain it, he came. That's an irregular past. Not, uh, not all, in fact, not most verbs will look so similar in their past and present tense. Wolo, wolo, is I fly. Okay, so a pretty straightforward uh, lesson here. Simply more practice, more what we learned uh, in the last chapter. So at this point, for the translate into English, uh, why don't you pause, uh, do your best to write these out, and then come back and view the video, and we will uh, go over them together. So go ahead and pause the video now. And we are back, ready to grade what you wrote there on page 29, translate into English. Uh, I'll read it in uh, Latin, and you go ahead and practice the Latin after I read it. Nauta venit Romam ex Graecia. Nauta venit Romam ex Graecia. The sailor came to Rome from Greece to Rome from Greece. That's the accusative of motion toward, right? That's why Romam is in the accusative. Romai multi puelae erant pulcrae. Romai multi puelae erant pulcrae. So this is uh, one where the endings might at first trip you up. Uh, sometimes endings can be spelled the same but not be the same thing. Again, like our English two, two, and two, words that sound the same but are spelled different and mean different things. Or you can have words that are spelled the same, like lead and lead, or red and read, uh, but that have different meanings. And here, a uh, Romai is not the genitive of Rome. That's that special use. It's the locative, at Rome. At Rome, there were many beautiful girls. Okay, three. Agricola terram a silva ad willam arat. Agricola terram a silva ad willam arat. Okay. The farmer plows the ground from the woods to the house. The farmer plows arat. What does he plow? In the accusative case, terram. He plows the earth, the dirt, from the woods to the house. Four. Nautae insulum a piratis liberant. Nautae insulum a piratis liberant. What is uh, the, is there anything in the nominative that's going to be your subject? Yes, nautae. And then what's the verb? Liberant. So the skeleton of your sentence, the sailors free. What do they free? You need a, an uh, accusative for the direct object. They free the island from the pirates. Aquila in silvam volat. Aquila in silvam volat. Uh, pretty easy. What's your nominative? Aquila, an eagle. What's your verb? Volat, flies. An eagle flies, where does he fly? In the woods. Liberamus patrium. Liberamus patrium. What's your subject? Anything in the nominative? No. So the subject is just in the verb. We free, Liberamus, we free the fatherland. Seven. Philia widowi a willa discadet. Philia widowi a willa discadet. Anything in the nominative? Yes, philia. What's the verb? Discate it. So what's the skeleton of the sentence? The daughter leaves. The daughter departs. The daughter of the widow departs from the house. Portatisne 
rosas in kistula. Portatis ne rosas in kistula. Again, nothing in the nominative to be your subject, just a verb. So, did you bring what, uh, what case are you going to bring something in, right? The accusative. Did you bring roses in the basket? Did you bring roses in the basket? All right. Now, let's try to put these into Latin orally. The dove is flying to the woods from the villa. The dove is flying. The word for dove is columba. The word for fly is wolo. So, it needs to be, right, columba, wolot, to the woods, ad silwam, from the villa, a willa, wheela, a wheela. Okay? Again, you can pause if you want to work these out and uh, write them, and then you can come back and I'll go over them, or if you just want to listen to me do them uh, orally, that's fine as well, because you've got plenty, remember, you've got plenty of work to do uh, as far as writing stuff out each week in Wheelock. Uh, the poet is coming to Rome from Gaul. Poeta to Rome now, Romam, like we had up above. Poeta Romam e Gallia Wenet. Is the clerk reading the girls a letter? The word for a clerk that we learned is scriba, scribe. So, uh, and the word for uh, to read or recite is rakito. Uh, rakito. So, rakitne, uh, rakitne scribit, puelis epistolam. Puelis is going to be in the dative because he's reading to the girls. The pirates will be at Rome tomorrow. Cross piratae romae errant. Right? The pirates. Tomorrow the pirates at Rome, Romae, will be errant. The girl sees many pretty roses. Puela, multas rosas pulcras widit. The sailors are freeing the farmer from the pirates. Nautai, agriculum, a piratis, Liberat, Liberant, sorry, Liberant. Okay. What do we have in our uh, extra section here? Uh, the State Seal of North Carolina, Essequam Videri, to be rather than to seem. Okay. Some familiar words, all of them feminine. Anguilla is an eel. Balina is a whale. Ostrea, an oyster. Panthera, a panther. Capra, the she-goat. Colubra, the snake. Dama, a fallow deer. Equa, a mare. Formica is an ant. Musca, a fly. Perca, a perch. Foca, a seal. Rana is a frog. Sardina, a sardine. Talpa, a mole. And Wespa is the wasp. Notice the close resemblance between the English and the Latin in some of these pairs of words. Quite so. Uh, conversation about rowing. A little conversation. I'll read it, then you can repeat. We desne scafam Helenae in aqua ad insulam. We desne scafam Helenae in aqua ad insulam. Do you see the boat of Helen? Did you see Helen's boat in the water? Next to the island. Video. Et scafam Carolina quoqua in ancra ad ripam fluminis. Again, we'll read it. Video. Et scafam Carolina quoqua in ancra ad ripam fluminis. Uh, I saw. Also, I saw the boat of Carolyn at anchor in the bank of the river, on the bank of the river. Remi gamis hodie post scolum. Remi gamis hodie post scolum. Let us go rowing today after school. Non possum ante vesperam hodie enum post meridiam mihi laborandum est. I am not able, uh, 
before evening. I'm not able to go before evening. For today, in the afternoon, there is work to be done by me. Tum lanterna nobis portanda est. Tum lanterna nobis portanda est. Then we must carry a lantern. Aqua mihi placet vesperi, umbrae enam pocerimae sunt. Aqua mihi placet vesperi, umbrae enam pocerimae sunt. Uh, the water at evening pleases me, for the shadows are beautiful. The shadows are pretty. Again, all that optional stuff, we're really just reading through it to give you a chance to... Um, pick up the ring of the Latin and get some practice reading. You notice on page 29 also you need to add uh, Wheelock Chapter 3's vocabulary to your cards and begin studying those as well. And so again today, after you've gone through and perhaps looked through the video again at uh, your translations, understand your errors that you made in uh, exercises A and B, um, then just simply practice that vocabulary and your forms and you'll be ready for the next lesson.